my guardian angels, this is your leader, Chaos Angel, with episode 2 of Let's Play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. And for this episode, I have another friend with me. Introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is Dar. I'm a longtime friend of Chaos Angel, and I'm also the head of a little production team called D Productions. That's right. <clears throat> So, do you have any history with PlayStation? Um, a little. But I don't recall if it was the original or PlayStation 2, but back in the day, when I was much younger, I played at least once or twice with my brother. And I don't remember much of it, but I do think that on one of those times I played a game uh, of the Crash Bandicoot. You know, because Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon are pretty much were pretty much made by uh, Universal back then. Wow, impressive. Yeah, so they're kind of like uh, buddy games, if you if you if you know, as you know. Yeah, sister games, right? Yeah. Anyway, in this episode, we are going into Sunny Villa. It must must be pretty. It must be a rich place. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know about the sound fun. effects, those are from the Discord soundboard. Anyway, yeah, let's talk to this guy over here. Oh my! Oh my! Can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. That don't sound good. But he has more to say. Are you a dragon? I never believed you really existed. Well, I hope you believe it now. Would you like a chicken sandwich? They're very good. And that was random. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, there are a few beta builds of Spyro 3 that were released some years ago. I'm gonna burn these trees for a skill point. Um, for one thing, um, right around this area here, there used to be a fountain. Yeah. But in like a later demo, there was basically just the shape of it in the ground with water. So basically I think what they did in the demo in that demo is they just picked it up. But now they fixed it to where there is no indent in the ground at all. That would have been cool. Yeah, there were many, many changes in these prototypes of demo games. As uh, with any game that is getting developed. And this guy looks like he might need some help. Let's talk to him. Oh, okay. I think we gotta take care of these guys. Let me catch my breath and I'll kick that other guy's butt. You know what? <laughs> I'll take you up on that. I'm gonna leave and let him just sit there and we'll see if he actually does it. If he actually takes care of it or not. So, let's just carry on with the rest of the level. Alright. Get this guy out of here. Got any and more uh, put up stories about This Rhinoc is too big to like... charge. You'll have to flame him using the circle button. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's do that. Oh. Check this out. <laughs> Double kill. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, like, I am used to the Reignite trilogy, but these older games just take me back. Even though I wasn't much of a gamer when I was a lot younger, I mainly watched. This. Oh, fans of the FNAF series would uh, would see this name in a very negative light now. Yeah, you do make a valid point there. Did you actually get to play these games on original hardware? Yeah, I did. Like, um, did you ever see my Let's Cheat on Spyro 1 and Let's Play Spyro 2? That was on original hardware. And I do have Spyro 3 on it as well, but 
I wanted to make a change since I know how to use emulators and OBS work, which is why I'm doing this on emulator now. And it's gonna be like the video is so much better, the sound is cleaner. It's just all in all much better than what I had before. There are very few. Oh. I'm in, the, in the another series, series to another. That is... <laughs> Every time I see the name Miles, it just reminds me of uh, Tails, you know? Mm -hmm. He still hasn't... This guy still has not done anything. And there's a frog. <laughs> I'm just gonna take care of him. What do you have to say for yourself? We show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. I think you mean you. Yeah, you. I did. You did absolutely freaking nothing. So don't take credit for that. Which is why I flamed him and I hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's continue on with the level. Anyway, um, some other things I want to share is. These door, these little door te textures here were were actually like textured like doors in some early demos. These look more like stone hatches. Yeah. These guys are wielding massive, uh, what cuts of meat? They're chicken drumsticks. Drumsticks. Anyway. Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you like this... Zap. That means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Thank you. Right. So yeah, those are basically like checkpoints. Yeah. Are there any lives in this game? Because it doesn't look like it. I have eight. Top middle. Oh. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> yep. Anyway, as you see over there is a giant chicken and a giant rhino. You want to see what happens when I get closer? Uh. Watch what happens. Oh, boy. He <laughs> killed guy it. Is that guy's just gone cuckoo crazy. <laughs> you should have you said in your Mario voice. That guy is cuckoo crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, uh, um, watch what happens when I go around the wall here where he went. The chicken's gone. He straight up yeah. killed it, and he is eating it now. Yeah, that's. Uh, I know it's dark. Kind of it? funny Ooh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> and he just keeps going. And what? Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Uh, one more thing to say. Have you seen any of our giant chickens? The Rhinox have been trying to eat them all. So, well, that, now that. we understand what's going on in this situation. <laughs> yeah, let's... Uh, oh, for a second there, you had, you know... All sixes on three numbers in there. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't see that. I know anyway, that. Here is the mayor. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. This is not a chicken egg. It's a dragon egg. This is Sanders. What is it? <laughs> what is it, Kurt? What is it, Colonel? That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. That was not a chicken. Whee! <laughs> Sorry, I'm, not, just, I'm, not a, I'm feeling silly right now. <laughs> it's not a chicken or a uh, Sandler. This Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go ahead. And Alive, and there's the last tree. Alright. Let's 
go into the sub level here. Woo! Hi, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Mm, not yet. Let me collect everything here first, and then we'll do that. Yeah, maybe you better practice a bit first. Just come back here when you're up for a challenge. I don't know why, but he sounded kind of mocking there. Yeah. But I'm just gonna ignore it. Uh. Dragons on skateboards! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard of bandicoots on motorcycles? Well, how about dragons on skateboards? <laughs> I think this is a, one of the few parts I got to watch you play at some point. I think so, yeah. I think we were, we were in a call once and I was just kind of skateboarding and just having a good time. Yeah. Surprised you remember. Well, my memory tends to be... Nice. My memory tends to be all over the place. Sometimes I remember things from years ago, and sometimes I don't even remember what just happened. I know, right? Like, like you remember something in a split second, you're about to say it, it's like, go on. <laughs> don't worry, we've, I'm sure we've all been there. We've all been there, so... Yeah. Trust me, my, even my memories... Even my memory has gotten worse over the years. I just noticed that that dragonfly uh, character that's alongside Spiral. That's Sparks. Is that like a companion type character? He's your health bar. He changes oh. color whenever you get hit, and when he's completely gone, one hit after that, and you're. <laughs> Normal health bar would support a surprise, but that's pretty creative too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's talk to Hunter again. Are you ready for a challenge now? Yes, I am. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Let's just, let's, just, let's just roll with it. Oh. Is this the game with the, with the, the voice actor from the, the SpongeBob SquarePants in it? I... Yeah, Spyro is played by Tom Kenny. Uh, you might want to turn your volume up a bit on your mic or something because I can barely hear you. You can barely hear me? Oh, I can see. I can hear you better now. The I guess I wasn't. Up. I guess I wasn't just. I guess I wasn't close enough to the mic. That's alright. It happens. Yeah, it does. Seriously, I'm hit X. Hey, when did this game came out? Uh, this year, this came out in the year 2000, which was actually the year of the dragon. So it, it fits. Yeah. And what year did Sonic Adventure 2 came uh, come out in? I have no idea. Crud. Anyway, these lizards are very mocking. <laughs> if, they don't if stop. You, they don't stop laughing at me. I hate it. If I would have known, I could have made a comment like. Uh, like, yeah, I guess the dragon was, uh, was, was, on, was on the skateboard before, before a hedgehog, huh? I, but, uh, my pawn doesn't work anymore now. Well, the right thing now. is, like, when Sonic was created, it was a long while before Crash or even Spider-Man was made. Yeah, but I'm talking specifically about the... Sonic Adventure. Oh. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. I'm very embarrassed. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. 
Thank you. Hey, oh. that was great. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Mm. Oh. Nice name. All right. If you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Let's do this. Go get him, Spyro! Oh, Let's do you this. Got... Same here for Three minute time limit, and I cannot wipe out this time. If I do, I'll have to start all over. Can't fall off your uh, skateboard. Nope. If I hit a wall and I wipe out, I have to start. Off. I can usually do this, but now that I'm recording, I'm kind of nervous. Oh. oh. Barely went under you. We're good. Nice. Wow. It's been like a th the timer is a, a third of the way there, and you've already gotten two thirds of, of the progress. Yeah, the time limits are usually very forgiving. Like in Sonic games, you you have ten minutes to complete each level in the classic. Way too much time. Alright, let's hope I don't mess up on this part now. Heck yeah, we did it! Nice! Wow, that was sweet! And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Daisy! Hi, I'm Daisy! <laughs> I, had to. I knew you were gonna have make that reference as soon as I saw the name. <laughs> I had to. Anyway, let's get these gems over here. We should be good to move on. If I need to search around for the gems, if I miss any, then I'll do that. But I'm pretty sure, I hope I'm right, that we got everything. Let's go. Okay, now there's one more sub area we need to go to. All right. Uh. Nice, uh. And I hit the that. Is Spyro, was Spyro also meant to be like one of these uh, games you play crazy and fast and... Are you talking about speedruns? Speed, uh, no, like fast movement in general. Like, like in Sonic games and stuff. Like. I don't think so. My sparks. Because it seems like you're gonna move pretty fast in this game. Hey Spyro! There are Rhinox everywhere! Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. Love the Australian accent. Fits the character. I have lost <laughs> my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Why can't you do it? Oh, I know. But, uh, for those of you who don't know, you'll find out once we save her. Are all of these uh, bear characters voiced by the same actor? Huh? The the NPCs. Yeah, are they, they all... are technically played by the same guy. Actually, the the dragonfly. What did you say its name was? Sparks. Does, it it kind of looks like Sparks also brings you ge uh, any gems that are yeah they do, yeah he does. He picks up gems that are quite a bit of ways from you. Like, 
one of the powers one of the powers you get after spark after a fir, like the first sparks level he will gain the ability to grab gems when they're further away from you and i guess you're past that point no i just started oh <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, um, about uh, Sheila's Australian accent, she is a kangaroo, and kangaroos aren't technically from Australia, so that's the accent. Yeah, that's why, that's why I said it's a fitting uh, accent. Well, yeah, we're starting to get up to the tower now. Well, that won't come. Nope. There we go. <laughs> he walked into that. <laughs> guys aren't really good at it. <laughs> at their job, aren't they? I swear, like, spear-wielding guards in video games, they're never good at their job. Nope, they are not. Okay, now you remember what I said, why this guy didn't save her, but instead sent us up here to save her? Yeah. Well, here's why. What? Marco sent you here? I've got a restraining order against him. There's your answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's why I'm Juice and Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does say something else here. If you see Marco, please tell him I've moved out. That's harsh. Very. But you know, that's uh, pretty And nice. of course I'm missing one gem. Oh, it would have been perfect if it was 900. But... The no fall damage here. <laughs> no, there's no fall damage in the Sparrow games. There isn't even any reaction for fall from a uh, high place. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to. This might take a while. I gotta search around because I can't find this gem. Yeah. This oh. would probably be a good time to uh, discuss <laughs> the price I use. On Juicy Lucy. That's not the first time anyone have ever said this in the history. You know that uh, that cheese stuff burger, the Juicy Lucy? Nope. I've never Staple heard of that. Soda. It's basically. You basically make it by taking two uh, uh, patties, putting some cheese in uh, holding some cheese in the middle and then like kind of sm uh, smearing those patties together ah, found it want. Nice. anyways and, continue and then uh as for the how it was created it was it's a minnesota specialty and one time at a bar in Minnesota, a guy walked in and he was like, Hey, hey, can you make something, uh, can you make something a little different? So the bar owner said, Okay, how about this? I'll, uh, I'll make some, uh, I'll take two patties, get some cheese in the middle, and I'll cook that. Food. And the guy, and when the burger was uh, out, he, the guy had one bite and the molten cheese inside kind of uh it was uh, really hot and uh, and after the guy recovered he was like now that's one juicy lucy 
so cute. And that's where the name of the burger came from. That's interesting. Anyway, um, this level is now level complete, and we are gonna head back to Sunrise Spring. But once we pass through this portal, silence, because there is going to be a cutscene. Got it. Oh, hey, Spyro. And Sparks. The second warning. Here we go. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Oh boy. <laughs> Looks like Hunter is starting to fall in love with the enemy. Oh boy. Yep. Anyway, we are back in Sunrise Spring. And, uh, I guess we're good to end the episode off. What do you think? Seems like a good place to end the episode. Got through a level, 100% of it. Yeah. Seems like a good place to stop. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. This was episode 2 of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Let's play. And I would like to thank Dar for joining me. It's been a pleasure <laughs> being here, sharing some of my knowledge and <laughs> jokes, of course. <laughs> yeah, hey Sparks. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please comment, like, subscribe, and also subscribe to become a guardian angel today. Also, also, um, <laughs> make sure to um, ring the bell icon to get notified of when I release a new episode because these will be coming out more often. You want to go ahead and uh, say goodbye, Dar? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, again for watching, and I'll see you all later, D Squad. And this is Chaos Angel, signing out. <laughs>